go ahead and find the add-on, install it, enable the add-on, locate the tools panel, select the default scene, uh, update your settings to match your deforum settings. I'm using default. And we can start recording our animation after the timer gets down to zero. And we can keep an eye down at the bottom so we can see when it stops at the 120 mark. And once it hits uh, 120, you can hit escape on your keyboard. And you can play it back to uh, preview it. And while previewing it, if you decide you want to smooth it out, we can definitely definitely use the smoothing option. I usually start with a value of 50. Press it once and then see if it's smooth enough. And if not, you can definitely increase the value and hit the button again. But I think this will do. So once you're satisfied with the smoothing effect, we can go ahead and export the camera values. And I'm going to use the copy to clipboard option and I'm going to paste the value in the correct field. So the translation X field. And we're gonna go ahead and copy translation Y as well over into the translation Y field. And we're gonna do the same thing with Z. Rotation X. Rotation Y. And rotation Z. And once you have your values in there, you can go through all your settings to make sure they're correct. Uh, I'm going to do 3D, 120, but we're going to change that to 125 since our camera values go to 120. Make sure our end max frames is correct. You can change your cadence. Any other settings you want to change, you can definitely do so. I also used a chat GPT primer that I had created, which I'm going to uh, show you. So I went ahead and up and, and put the uh, primer prompt, as you can see here. And it's interactive. And I decided to choose a fantasy theme about a dragon, 120 frames every 30 frames, and it created my animation sequence. Of course, you can be more descriptive. You can add some more detail in there if you'd like. Uh, this is what I went with for my prompts. I honestly barely even read through it. And then I'm going to click generate and it's going to create the animation. And this is the end result. I hope you enjoy.